And with me right now from United Mutual is Cash Agricar. And you are here today, sir, to talk about disaster preparedness and primarily the neighborhood captains. Yes, sir. Nice to have you here today. Thank you again. It was so nice to be here and see you again one more time. Uh, I'm here basically to talk about disaster preparedness and not just for United Mutual. Right. And uh, I want to start out saying how beautiful our community is, how fortunate we are. We <coughs> are one of the best <coughs> retirement communities in the world. Okay? Yes, yeah, definitely. We have great management system. We have, no matter what, we have everything we need for seniors, including like 254 clubs and seven clubs. Yeah, I can go on and on and on, but all of you know about it. So I'm not going to harp on that. But our stress-free life makes us sometimes forget that mm -hmm. disasters can <clears throat> happen. Yes. And they don't just happen to other people, they can happen to anybody. I'm not trying to scare you, but we need to be prepared and be ready for it. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. Uh, it's very important that we prepare ahead of time because when the disaster happens, we have no time. We mm -hmm. Sometimes you know, may not even get service immediately. Right. We have people hurt, your neighbors hurt, sometimes your own family members are hurt, and we have to be mm -hmm. ready what to do and how to line up a program. And uh, Chief Moy, our uh, uh, fearless security officer, Chief, has laid out a beautiful program called uh, GNBC, or Good Neighbor Building or Block Captains. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> it's very important that all of us volunteer, not just for our sake, but for our neighbor's sake and for our village's sake, uh, and maintain our beautiful place uh, that we are so fortunate to maintain and make sure we walk away from the disaster with good colors and yes. least damage. Yeah. So that's what we are here to talk about. All right. And ask one me. of the things we're going to talk about today is the, uh, well, obviously the building captains, but we're going to talk about the map that we have yes, behind us here. Exactly. And this indicates where there are current captains, am I correct? Exactly, yes. And uh, blue is third and red is united. Yes. From the <clears throat> map, every dot, the blue stands for the third and the red for the united. Mm -hmm. It looks like we got plenty of captains, but that is not true. Because if we zoom in on any of the areas, you will find that we are missing right. people. Uh, can you zoom a yeah. little more? Yeah, you can okay. see. Go uh, to the red for some instance. See, there are areas in the middle there, uh, <coughs> right by Via Estrada. Yeah. There's hardly anybody on, in there. Mm -hmm. Then Avenue de Mallorca, you're in the middle there. We don't have any building captains. Right. And areas down further here uh, by, yeah. Yeah, so you see all holes. Yeah. Def definitely many, many holes. We need volunteers. Uh, the advantage is you get to know your neighbors, mm -hmm. you uh, help the neighbors in case of emergency, and make new friends. And uh, volunteering is really earning brownie points yeah. with the guy up in the sky. Yeah, that's true. So I'm requesting all of you, <coughs> whoever is able <clears throat> and bodied and can put some time, go for the uh, Tuesday evening, 10 o'clock, Good Neighbor Volunteers Wanted program coming in Clubhouse 3. Yes. And uh, it's at 10, uh, July 10th at 6 p.m. And see what, what's involved. It's really not much time on your part, but it, you'll, you'll be so much more proud of yourself trying to do this. Now, volunteering is the best thing one can do, especially at our age, mm -hmm. when we are seniors. And I wanted to, we got this slide up too, and this is something that if you can't make that meeting, this is just general information here about uh, the Disaster Preparedness Task Force, which is downstairs, it is located on the first floor of the, the community center building, and it's open from 10 until noon, Monday through Friday. So if you cannot make that meeting, if you want information or you're looking for supplies, they sell backpacks there, uh, very reasonable charge and first aid kits, that uh, kind of a grab bag. And if you don't want to make up your own, uh, you can get grab one of those and they have different price points. Or 
if you want to make up their your own, they have a sheet of suggested yeah. items. So either way, they can help you out. <clears throat> Especially, I, I just brought one of my bags. This has emergency supply of water, mm -hmm. not for emergency like today when we have heat. Yeah. Okay. Keep this in your car or keep this handy in your home. So if you need it, you have it. Yeah. And that's the whole idea. Get ready. Uh, it's not necessarily uh, enough supply with one bag. You should have at least three weeks of supply stored with yourself. Mm -hmm. And all these facts are spelled out on the internet, yeah. on our website, lumanawoodsvillage.com, mm -hmm. as well as you can get all this information, like Ken said, downstairs in the same building, town center, about what to do to prepare for disaster. Yeah. And to be ready, more than anything, not as a scare to you, it's an uh, advantage to our community, to yourself, and uh, our beautiful neighborhood can benefit from it. And volunteering is the best thing one can do. Yeah, so if you are interested, again, uh, if you can't make it to this meeting coming up on Tuesday, uh, please just go downstairs to the Disaster Preparedness Task Force office, get all your information in there, and, or online. And if you're interested in becoming one of the good neighbor captains, um, they'll, they can help you out with that. We have like 12,700 <clears throat> manors and about 18,000 people. So mm -hmm. even at 1%, we need like 1,880 yeah. people, uh, you know, uh, 18,000. Yeah. So we need more captains. We need your help. Please get up and go out there, attend the Tuesday evening uh, session, and learn about what this uh, group neighbor captain is and disaster preparedness is. Thank you. All right. Good to see you, sir, Thank as you. always. Thank you very much. Take care. My, I hope we pleasure. see you again. My pleasure coming here. All right. You Thanks. take care, and we'll be right back. Thank you.